Erstwhile Kerala High Tech Industries Limited has been taken over and renamed as Brahmos Aerospace Trivandrum Limited and is a general engineering work center with flexibility to realize a variety of products. The present product mix includes major systems required for the launch vehicle and satellite and non-rotating systems of turbojet aircraft engine. Topic manufacturing facility The manufacturing facility is set up in a 15.6 acre 63,000 square meters campus in Tiruvanantapuram in the state of Kerala adjacent to the Trivandrum International Airport. The built-up area is about 10,000 sq meters and the manpower is 300. KELTEC is a single-stop work center with multidisciplinary capability such as conventional and CNC machining, metal forming, auto-TIG and electron beam welding, vacuum brazing, heat treatment, surface treatment etc. State-of-the-art systems for quality control and metrology support the above manufacturing facilities. KELTEC can also undertake design and development of aerospace components, development of special processes like vacuum brazing of aluminium components, design and realization of tools and fixtures required for production. KELTEC manufactures a number of major systems for the Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle GSLV, including inertial control systems, control system components, high-pressure titanium gas bottles, fuel, oxidizer tankages and feed line systems, liquid propulsion engine, convergent-divergent nozzles, and launch vehicle solid rocket motor cases. The Vickers engine is a liquid propellant rocket engine which is used in the second stage of the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV, and the second stage and strap on stages of the Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle GSLV. The entire engine which comprises more than 500 machined and welded components is manufactured at KELTEC. Inception of KELTEC On January 18, 1991 the Indian Space Research Organization inked an agreement with the Russian space agency Glavkosmos for the transfer of cryogenic technology. Following the collapse of its Soviet empire, Russia was under considerable American influence. In this backdrop, both Glavkosmos and ISRO anticipated the United States would try and stymie the deal. So Glavkosmos and ISRO drew up Plan B, outsource the manufacture of the cryogenic engines to Kerala High Tech Industries Limited The arrangement was designed to get around the provisions of the Missile Technology Control Regime the space czars of the two countries, Alexei Vassin, officer in charge of cryogenic technology in Glavkosmos, and ISRO chairman U.R. Rao, reckoned that if Russian cryogenic technology was passed on to ISRO via KELTEC, technically it would not be a violation of the MTCR. <laughs> <laughs> 